Hi, I'm Will Weber. I'm your instructor for this Math 142 uh, Pre-Calculus 2 class. Um, I'm going to go through the syllabus so you know what to expect this for. You should uh, get a copy of the syllabus and keep it with you, either electronically or print it on paper if you need. Um, a lot of information here that you can reference throughout the quarter. Uh, course policies, calendar, such like that. Okay, Something you should know what's on this thing. Okay, so here we go. We are uh, Math 142, Pre-Calc 2. This is the online section 1. Um, it's spring of 2014. The requisite is a C or better in Math 141. Please note, uh, prerequisites C or better. Um, but I really expect that you know everything. Um, I know uh, we use algebra. We use graphs, we use functions, uh, you know, stuff that you've done in previous classes you should be able to do. Um, if you had trouble doing that, and you have some holes in your knowledge, well then we need to get you up to speed. Um, besides being a math teacher, uh, I've also been um, an administrator for an electrical company. Um, had to pass a test for the state to be certified. Um, they required a 70 percent or better. There were three parts Two of the parts I did just fine on, one of the parts I get a 71%. Well, it was good enough. You know, I, I, I passed the test. I'm an electrical administrator. I could be an administrator for any electrical contractor in the state of Washington. Um, but when we do a job and we get an inspection, uh, the inspector doesn't say, oh, look, you got 71% of the stuff right. You passed the inspection. <laughs> no, it doesn't, it doesn't work that way. Uh, you get one thing wrong, you fail the inspection, you have to tear it out, redo the work. You've got to get it right. Um, and math's the same way. I mean, you make one little algebra mistake, you, you're going to not be getting the right answers. You're going to be trying to build bridges, and you're going to end up with them falling down because you made one mistake with fractions or with a minus sign or something. I mean, come on, we gotta, we got to get it all. So anyway, I'll help you. Know that the goal is to know everything, not just 70%, everything. Okay, got that off my chest. Now, uh, of course, you've found the website here, wamap.org. Uh, this is course number 7409. Enrollment key is 142 if you haven't already signed in, but it's kind of silly. You have, you're watching this video. Uh, so, anyway, here's uh, information about me. I'm Dr. William T. Weber. Uh, you can call me Will. Uh, my office is LDC 221. My office hours are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday from 12 to 1 p.m. Um, I'm physically in my office. If you're a Wacom Community College student, which you're taking this class, you are. I mean, if you actually come to the campus, feel free to come to my office. Just because it's an online class doesn't mean you have to only talk to me online. Uh, uh, I, I am in my office pretty much every morning. Um, I have one face-to-face -face class in the afternoon, 1.30 to 2.35, so I'm not available at that time, but you know, other times I'm, I'm around. Um, give me a call, send me an email, you know, arrange a time to come in if the 12 to 1 o'clock doesn't work for you. Please, uh, I'm here to help. I also have an online office, which you can access by clicking on this link. Um, it's, uh, it's Blackboard Collaborate environment. Um, the first time you click on it, your computer's going to want to download some software if you don't already have it. Uh, it's free. It's fine. Just It's, it's Java-based, so you got to allow Java to work on your computer. Um, anyway, it, it's, it's a place we can... There's a chat window. There's the ability to attach microphones or cameras or whatever. You can see what I'm doing, you can hear my voice, I can see what you're doing, hear your voice, whatever, or you can just use the chat window, there's a whiteboard to write on. Um, anyway, so that's the online environment. In my office, I should be also in my online office. And um, and if you check the online office and I'm not in there and you think I should be, then, you know, give me a phone call, send me an email, say, hey, Will, can you log into your office and we work there? And I'd say, sure. Um, anyway, there's my phone if you want to... Uh, Give me a call for 383-3566 um, or send me an email wweber at wacom.ctc.edu. Okay. Um, I'm here. I'm, I'm here to help. Uh, so 
take advantage of that. Uh, here we go, the text. There's two texts we're going to use. Um, the, the same text that you use for uh, 141, uh, if you took it from Wat at Watcom. Um, graphing and first pre-calculus with limits. Um, Lyle, Hornsby, and Roxwald. Uh, I don't particularly like this for Math 142 class. Uh, it's pretty good for the 141, um, but for 142 I don't like the order that things are done in. So I'm using a different text for half the class, and then we come back to that one. So for the first half of the class we're using um, uh, a free uh, online book. Um, the link is right here. Um, just uh, click on that link, you download the PDF, uh, and that's the textbook we're using. Um, Michael Corral. Anyway, um, so down below when we look at it, um, the trig book will be, uh, I use the abbreviation T, so T 1.2 would be the trig book section 1.2. PC 5.9 would be the pre-calculus book section 5.9, so I use those uh, abbreviations as we go here. So this is mainly a trig course. Um, the bulk of the material is trigonometry. Uh, at the end we do some uh, polar graphs, polar equations, uh, and parametric equations. Uh, and then the last few days is a brief introduction to limits, which is sort of the first step into calculus. Um, of course, outcomes. These are the list of uh, things that the math department at Wacom thinks you should be getting out of a pre-calc 2 class. Um, so overall, broad topics, um, you know, when you're getting ready to study for midterm or final exam, this is not a bad list to look at to see what uh, we think is most important and things you might expect to, to be questioned on. Okay, uh, so that's those. Okay, requirements and policies here. I gotta give you a grade, so I gotta base that grade on something. Um, so here's some things. There's homework. Uh, there's two types of homework. Um, there's homework that's in the textbooks, um, and there's homework that's uh, on the, the WAMAP page. Um, none of the homework is part of your grade. It's all just for practice. Um, and I say that because, I say practice because that's what I think of it as. Uh, I've had students call it busy work. Oh, that bugs the heck out of me. I mean, busy work. How do you ever ever get good at anything, whether it's playing an instrument, doing a sport, um, an academic endeavor, whatever. How do you ever get good at something? Practice. It takes practice. Um, I have thousands, hundreds of thousands of hours practicing doing math because it's been my hobby. It's been my joy all my life. I do math. That's what I do. Um, other people paint paintings or play the piano or whatever, and they spend hours and hours and hours doing it. It takes practice to get really good. Um, so practice. <laughs> so you're in this class, you're going to do math, you're going to practice the math. I give you problems to do. Um, so anyway, on WAMAP there's um, um, practice problems. Um, you can take these, work these problems as many times as you want. Um, get them wrong, do them again, get them right, do them again. I don't care, do them as many times as you want. Um, they're within the content of each week. Uh, you'll find them. Uh, just practice problems for each of the different types of uh, topics that we're talking about. Okay. Also in the textbook there's um, problems assigned and um, to their side right here. Uh, I'm going to scroll down a little bit so you can see the homework assignments. Uh, there's a table uh, that's got the different sections, so the trig book, section 1.1. 2 n plus 1 is a sequence notation for um, a bunch of numbers. Right? So think of n as an integer, so 0, 1, negative 1, 2, negative 2, these are all integers. Right? So if you take an integer and you multiply it by 2, you would get actually an even integer. And then you add 1 to that, you get an odd integer. So 2n plus 1 is actually a description of all the odd integers. And so the homework from section 2 from 1.1 is you should probably work all the odds. The odds are in the back of the book. You can see the answers. Um, again, you don't necessarily need to do every single problem. Uh, if you're getting them and they're, they're going all right, then sort of skip ahead to the next section and you know the next part of the homework and see if you can do some of the more difficult problems. Um, Make sure you can do them. 
uh, spend enough time to be good at it. Um, so anyway, there's uh, different things. Some of the sections I ask you to do all the problems. Um, some of them, 4n plus 1 here. 4n plus 1 would be, well, 4n would be the multiples of 4, and then you add 1, so this is 1 more than all the multiples of 4, so like 1, and 5, and 9, 13, be every other odd maybe. 6n plus 1 would be all, you know, the odds, like every third odd, right? Um, so anyway, as you can see, the, the beginning of the course is uh, mainly out of the trig book, and then we sort of transition into uh, the pre-calculus book okay, for, the, for the last maybe three or four weeks. Uh, we'll be in that, uh, the pre-calculus book. So anyway, those are the uh, homework to practice, practice. Discussions. There's uh, 13 discussion forms in this course. Uh, if your eyes are quick, you might have noticed that... Uh, I just did some pretty fancy editing. Um, here we go, <laughs> 13 discussion forums. Um, you're required to participate in every single one of them. Okay, the first one is uh, here, week zero, week one, the introduce yourself, just read the directions there, introduce yourself, answer the questions that we asked there, and respond to some people, you know. We wanna, wanna get to know each other and help each other out in this class. Uh, so anyway, that's the first one. There's another, there's actually three discussions the first week because there's that one. There's the um, triangle assignment discussion, which is uh, crucial to some stuff that we do. So I want you to do that one. And there's the homework uh, discussion. So um, anyway, each week there is a homework discussion. Uh, you need to make a positive substantial contribution. Um, if you've got a question on your homework, ask that question. Um, if you have um, an answer to someone's question, then give the answer. Uh, show how to solve the problem. Um, if all everybody's questions have been answered and you don't particularly have a question, then you know show a, a, a solved problem. Put one up there that you've done. Um, maybe you found a, an outside link that, that you found useful. Um, post that. Um, something substantial. Just saying, hey, that was a nice solution. It's, it's not substantial. You've got to do something that's going to help other people out uh, or help yourself. So post a question, post an answer, something like that in those discussion forums. Um, anyway, um, discussion forums are worth a total of 15% of your grade. I mean, it's a substantial piece, but I think you'll find that they become very useful. Um, the more we help each other out, um, teaching someone is a really good way to learn. To organize it within your own mind well enough to be able to explain it to someone else is a, is a very powerful learning experience. So, um, anyway, there's all those discussions, uh, quizzes every week. There'll be a quiz. Um, quizzes and discussions are due essentially the same time. At the end of each week, I view the week as starting on Monday morning at 12:01, and it ends Sunday night at 11:59. There's two minutes leeway in there that isn't in either week, but uh, anyway, that's just to get the clocks to start and stop at the right times. Um, so the quizzes uh, each week um, on Thursday, bright and early in the morning, a quiz will appear. You've got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday to um, to do that. Um, the, there's no particular time limit other than you got to be done by midnight Sunday night. Uh, and what WAMAP thinks has been actually it's set for 11.59. Um, so, um, you know, don't, don't push it right to the end because your clock may not be in sync with WAMAP. So if WAMAP says time's up, well, time's up. Uh, so get it done, get it done early. Um, it shouldn't take that long. Uh, I, don't, I don't think of them as long quizzes, but anyway, these are graded. WAMAP grades them. I, uh, I then come in and double check um, afterwards to make sure it's grading it correctly and, and maybe assign some partial credit sometimes. Sometimes I can see that you've entered a, uh, an answer that's actually correct. Um, I am going to uh, stop the video here because I'm just about to run out of time and I will continue on the next one.